so let's look at an example in job costing a manufacturing company which is divided into three production departments we have a b and then c all production is to customer orders they only produce when they receive orders meaning they do not stock up so all orders are similar and they go through all the three departments then manufacturing costs for the given periods were so this is what we have particular department a department b department c then the total so direct materials we have the total then direct labor this is the direct labor for department a b and then c then the total then the indirect manufacturing costs are those ones yeah. then uh, particulars sorry the cost of producing a particular order was determined as follows so this is the cost of determine of of producing one order so these are the particulars direct materials 1000 direct labor for a it's that b it's that the total is this then the indirect manufacturing cost for one order it is this so when you add this and this and this the total cost for a particular order is this so required they want us to prepare a revised cost of cost for order for each order for each order distributing the indirect manufacturing costs so we are supposed to prepare a we are supposed to prepare a revised job order a revised job order or a revised cost of the job distributing the indirect manufacturing costs these ones We are supposed to distribute them into departments, department A, B, and then C. So, we start. So, we are going to draw our table. We shall have particulars. Then the departments. So we have department A, we have B, then we have C. So in our question, we were given the total indirect manufacturing costs, the, these ones, for each department, then the direct labor. So we shall have the indirect manufacturing costs. We just copy them the, like the way they are here. 20,000, 40,000, 30,000. Then we also have the direct labor. The direct labor is uh, 40, 20, 20, and then 30. So, we are supposed to determine like the percentage. This is the, this is the indirect manufacturing cost. So, we are supposed to get the percentage of... Uh, direct labor the percentage that direct labor contributes to the manufacturing cost 
so we shall get the percentage of manufacturing cost so we are going to get the, the percentage of this to this so meaning we shall get this We are going to get this out of this, then times a hundred. We are going to get the percentage of manufacturing cost to direct labor. So we are going to get this out of this, then times a hundred. So it will be 20,000. Divide by 40,000 times 100. So it becomes 50%. We do the same for this. It will be 40,000 divided by 20,000 times 100. It becomes 200%. We do the same this out of this it will be a hundred percent so that is the percentage that we needed then after that we are going to prepare what they asked for the revised cost of the job so revised cost for the job revised cost for the job so remember when we are writing the cost sheet this is like the cost sheet we start with the direct ones which are the prime costs so prime costs we start with the direct materials And draw two lines here. Let's say the figures are in USD, then USD. So, direct materials. Since we are drawing a revised cost of the job, this was the cost of the job that we are given. We are just revising it. So, the direct materials we are given, they are these ones 1000. So, they do not change. So, it is 1000. Then now uh, we go to the direct labor. We go to the direct labor. So the direct labor we were also given. So we have three departments, which is A, B, and then C. So it is 120 to 80 to 100. So 120. 280 and 200 and the total of this makes 600 so the, the main issue here was to redistribute the indirect manufacturing cost so this 600 is what we are redistributing so it's going to be the indirect manufacturing cost the indirect manufacturing cost so we already got these percentages up here so we have three percentages a b and then c so we shall do 50 percent of direct labor To get the indirect manufacturing cost, we get 50% of this. You get, like the way we got it there, 
50% of this. 50% of this you get the indirect manufacturing cost 200% of this you get this so it's what we are going to apply here so here it will be 200% of direct labor then here it will be 100% of direct labor So this is the direct labor that we have. So for A, 50% of 120 is 60. 200% of this. It will be that times 2. 280 times 2. Which is 560. Then 100% of this, it will be 200. So when we add... It will be 560 plus 60 plus 200. So it is 820. That's what we write there. Then the total cost of the job. Total cost of the job is this plus this plus this. So that plus 600 plus 1,000, which is 2,420, like that. So initially, according to the question, this was the cost of the job. When we redistribute the indirect manufacturing cost, this is the cost of the job that we get. So there is a difference. So that is how we do with job costing. You just have to know this, this formatting. The, you, you, you get the direct costs, then you add with the indirect costs. Here, yeah, you just must be knowing how to redistribute according to the question, because questions be different. Thanks for watching.